I've had the hardest time getting into comedy anime. Comedy they're anime like, are normally the worst type of anime. There, there are very lie. few comedy mm. anime that I enjoy. And I, I put most of them in the same category as like Sakamoto, where it's it's funny to me for like one or two episodes. And then mm. I get bored very quickly if they're just kind of doing the same thing. I always mm. need to like, I always need to be, I, they always need to be doing something different for All me. Right. To, so like, what about what up. about something like Nichijo? <clears throat> wait, wait, yeah, what's yeah, Nichijo? And also what do you think is like the best comedy anime? Yeah. Oh, that's so uh, In my opinion, it's Nichijou. Nichijou? Yeah. I haven't actually seen Nichijou yet. You haven't seen Nichijou? I, I haven't, haven't seen it's, Nichijou. It's, it's, been, it's, been, it's been like like one of the one anime, the one, the one comedy anime I know. I you're, if seen. you love Sakamoto, you'll fucking love Nichijou. Because Nichijou I, is, the, is, is that one comedy anime where yeah. every joke is expectation defining. Yeah. Because like, one thing I will say about Nichijou is that it doesn't seem like, it's not a character-based comedy, is it? Mm, it, it every kind clip of I've it, seen yeah. looks like funny as fuck. Oh, yeah, but like the, the, the thing that I sells me on like what makes me really want to watch Nishijo is that every clip I've seen is vastly different and vastly like they, they have an original approach to a joke every time, yeah. whether it be like animation or the punchline mm. or something. Um, so I would probably really enjoy Nishijo. Yeah, well. Nishijo, Nishijo is interesting because I feel it's kind of half. Uh, it, it's like halfway between Sakamoto and Konosuba <clears throat> in the sense that it's a lot like Sakamoto where like all the jokes are very, you know, expectation defying and yeah, like, stuff yeah. like that. But as, you, as you're watching these like short clips of like, because it's basically just a bunch of short jokes put into one episode yeah. essentially. But the way that they do it, the way that it's written is that like each character's like development is you know, very physically defined. So by the end of like the 20 something episodes of Nichijou, you know exactly what these characters are like. So there is character development mm, and character yeah. comedy within it as well, which I think is what makes it especially funny. Where yeah. like the more episodes you watch, the more you start to understand, okay, this character is like this and this character is like this. So you, I can expect some kind of joke like this, but then the writing's like, no, fuck all of that that you thought you were going <laughs> to expect. We're going to give you something completely different. Yeah. And that's what makes it so funny. And of course it's Kyoto animation. So, you know, the I, animation I, I have been gone, meaning like, to watch it for like, yeah, like forever. I like, I've seen the deer scene, the oh, deer scene so many times, so, every time I fucking so lose funny. it. Man. Like there are so many <laughs> layers to that one scene. Oh, it's that so It just good. makes me want to watch Nietzsche yeah. so, so badly. And especially after when I helped you film the video with the interview with the one of the main- Oh, on the money call. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And she was super chill and yeah, nice. She, yeah, she was the voice of Yuko. Yeah. From Nishijo, yeah. And I felt bad because I'm like, I wish I could appreciate- Yeah being in front of you it more. It was crazy like, because her like, regular voice is literally Yuko. So I'm yeah, just like, yeah, holy yeah. shit, it's like I'm talking to Yuko. Yeah, yeah. yeah but um, yeah, it's fucking hilarious. I mean, I'm sure people can agree, but that's the good thing about Nichijou, right? Is that like, unlike Konosuba, where you kind of have to like, understand the story and the characters, like it's very, I feel it's really hard to like, watch a Konosuba scene out of context. And it'd still be funny. Yeah, yeah, I, I would, I would agree with you because it's the characters that haven't built up. Right, right. right. You need to understand the characters. But yeah. Nichijou somehow there is characters in it, but they've somehow established the joke where you can just watch a clip completely out of context and it's still fucking hilarious. Yeah. Mm. For the longest time, I wondered like, why mm. haven't I watched Nichijou? And I was like, I think I just don't want to watch Schoolgirls. Yeah. I, I just don't care to watch girls in school. Yeah. I'm just kind mm. of like, I don't know if I. This, if that's me, like I'm a, I'm a Giga Chad mindset. Don't want to. I'm like I just I just don't, I don't know why. I just don't I, I think I think Nishijo is an exception because yeah. yes, yeah. you know some of the characters are schoolgirls and and a lot of the jokes are based yeah. in the school. Yeah, I, I, but the I jokes know, I know, are it's... so incredibly absurd to the point where yeah, it I, doesn't matter. I know that's why I want to watch it. Yeah, but I think yeah. other shows like Kami Kami Kamiya and all those type of shows. I'm just mm. like I'm just like I just don't think I care. Of course, yeah. Nishijo is there. Yeah, I went to the still... Nishijo cafe with her. It's awesome. Yeah, Nishijo, I've still been meaning to watch. So funny. Still been meaning to watch that. I, I know it's so goaded and everyone talks about how yeah. amazing it is. So I just need to watch it. I mean, it it's like the, obviously the comedy is always subjective. So like it's a lot of, I know a lot of people who don't really understand the comedy of Nichijo because they just don't really like the kind of mm. lol random subverting expectations kind of humor. But yeah. what makes the show so goaded is just Kyoto animations. Just work on it. It's like style so it. aesthetically beautiful. It's so impressive and expressive. And they managed to like hold on to uh, Arai Keiichi's like manga art style mm. as well. Like mm -hmm. the manga looks yeah, it, exactly it looks the same. very unique. Yeah. Yeah. I'm surprised Nichijo hasn't been like, maybe it came out too early or maybe not enough people watched it. I think it was ahead of its time. But it was, sure. it's the perfect meme reaction show. Oh yeah. You know, to the point where I'm surprised I don't see more meme reactions of just Nichijo characters, mm. you know? Totally. My yakisoba came in a, uh, in a, in a paper bag. Or a paper box, rather. 
<laughs> That's what they meant. They were like, the yuck slobber has a little like trick to it. <laughs> I got I got jabated. <laughs> In real life, bro. <laughs> the series is so trolly, you even get jabated at the cafe. <laughs> Fuck my life.